Good evening, this is the Food Technology Department presentation at Eden Girls. I am Miss Parrott and I'm the Food Technology teacher at Eden Girls. I also teach textiles. Food Technology is a national curriculum subject and is part of the Design and Technology Department. In Food Technology, both Key Stage 3 and Key Stage 4 get a wide range of food lessons. In Key Stage 3, the focus is really teaching the students the basic cooking skills that they will need throughout life. They are taught mainly healthy, nutritious recipes and are encouraged to make traditionally unhealthy recipes like cakes, flapjacks, goes a little bit healthier with added fruits, seeds, things like that. Students are taught about nutrition and a balanced diet. They're taught about illnesses that can be caused by an unbalanced diet and also um, taught about the vitamins that they can get from different foods in the Eat Well Guide. A few recipes that Year 7 do in their lunchbox project include fruit salad, pizza toast, pasta salad, flapjack scones, cake, tarts and more. The lunchbox project is really about teaching the students food that they could cook at home by themselves. So if one day they had to make their own lunchbox, they would know a wide range of recipes that they could put into it. Here are some photographs from Key Stage Food Food, Key Stage Free Food Technology. The students really seem to like the subject because they can really use practical skills and they like to be able to eat what they've made. So here you can see some pizza toast, some fruit salads, there's a pie, macaroni and cheese, which meant that the students had to learn how to make a cheese white sauce, which is quite high level. And you can also see a picture of the actual food room too. In Key Stage 4, we do the hospitality and catering BTEC with the WJEC exam board. This is a course that covers all aspects of the hospitality and catering industry, including the different job roles in hospitality and catering, foods about food safety, food nutrition, menu planning and dietary needs. So students really learn the basic background that they would need to be able to work in hospitality and catering. And it's a really interesting course. The course is 40% theory, so they do one exam paper about um, nutrition, health and safety, um, environmental health officers, as well as about um, like menu planning and things like that. And 60% of the exam is practical. So the girls that take the subject will really get to be very hands on with this UCC. There is quite a lot of writing, but this does go along with the practical as well. So there's a nice balance. For the practical part of the exam, the girls will plan a menu based on a brief that they get given and think about different clients and compare what they can eat. So different groups of people, people with different medical conditions, things like that. They will then plan the recipe, the two course or three course meal and cook everything from scratch. So if they're cooking a, for example, a millionaire shortbread, they will cook the biscuits themselves, they will cook the caramel themselves, they'll do every bit of it themselves to really show that they have high level cooking skills. So it's quite in depth for what they have to do, but the results that they produce are really amazing when you see what they can come up with when it, in terms of the cooking. Here is a picture of the year nine practical lesson. So at Eden, the girls take hospitality and catering in year nine and year 10 for their GCC. So this is their first practical lesson in year nine. So they were making soup and bread in one lesson to try and teach them how to make things, um, how, to multi how to multitask in the kitchen. So they'll be kneading their bread whilst their soup is boiling and things like that. This is a skill in the hospitality and catering specification called dovetailing, which is where everything will be um, ready at the same time. So they have to really plan their time well to be able to achieve this. The food technology classroom due to COVID is set up completely before the students come in. So the chopping boards are laid out, the bowls are laid out, every piece of equipment is out on the table so that the girls do not have to go through cupboards and touch other year groups equipment. 
this means that we can still do practical lessons and in between um, a bubble using the equipment it is completely sanitized and made sterile in accordance with the guidelines so that all the girls get an opportunity to cook in a safe and clean environment. This is a tour of the Food Technology Kitchen. As said previously, all of the equipment is set up prior to use so that there's no cross contamination. There are 12 induction hob ovens in the classroom and high quality equipment so that the students can learn with in the best way possible how to cook. All students do wash up after they have cooked. This is to teach them the responsibility of cooking and it does create a bit of a mess. There is a wide range of equipment available and four fridges for students to put their work in after they have finished the cooking process. Thank you for watching the presentation about food technology and I look forward to meeting you in Year 7 next year.